Hi everybody, I'm Dan from Silensis, the channel where we discuss everything about healthy aging and longevity molecules. And today we're going to talk about NMN supplementation and female fertility, because we received a lot of questions about this. So we wanted to cover the subject for you. And please remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our future videos about NMN, NR, NAD+, and much more. Infertility has increased in the U.S. for various reasons, including unhealthy eating habits, the increase of endometriosis, the increase of obesity rates, as well as other chronic conditions. Nowadays, 12% of women have difficulty conceiving, and this number rises to more than 30% of women over 35, because delayed pregnancies is another important factor leading to fertility issues. The important thing to remember is that eggs are non-renewable cells. Therefore, the number of eggs at birth is the highest a woman will ever have. Female fertility is not only determined by the amount of eggs, but also by their quality, which decreases year after year due to the accumulation of genetic abnormalities. Hormonal treatments, assisted reproduction, as well as egg freezing can help women facing fertility issues. Improving diet and lifestyle can also increase women's chance of conceiving. It's why eating a nutritious diet is crucial, as fertility can worsen when lacking key nutrients like vitamins B and D, iodine, omega-3s, iron, zinc, and many more. But what do we know about NMN supplementation? NMN is one of the most powerful NAD Plus boosters. We made many videos about NMN and NAD Plus, so please feel free to check them out on our channel. We already know that NAD Plus is a crucial coenzyme required for healthy aging, DNA repair, and metabolism. And in parallel, we also know that the quality and number of eggs decrease as NAD Plus levels diminish as we age. So the hypothesis was that by boosting NAD Plus levels through NMN supplementation, we could improve female fertility. And researchers tested this hypothesis in mouse models. So let's go over what they found. Number one, NMN supplementation improves the quality of eggs by increasing NAD plus levels. By increasing NAD plus levels in aged eggs, NMN supplementation can improve the egg quality. Indeed, data shows that NMN lowers egg cell death by suppressing the formation of free radicals and DNA damage while protecting the integrity of the DNA structure inside the eggs. This NMN ability to protect the DNA of eggs is crucial because DNA abnormalities are a leading cause of infertility, birth defects, or miscarriages. So by improving egg quality, NMN supplementation would increase the number of ovarian follicles, boost the ovulation step, and improve the egg maturation. Number two, NMN supplementation strengthens the sperm binding ability of aged eggs. Researchers demonstrated that NMN supplements strengthen the ability of the eggs to bind a sperm, making fertilization more likely to occur. For successful fertilization, sperm cells must first interact with the zona pellucida, which is a thick extracellular layer that surrounds all mammalian eggs. The number of sperm binding to the zona pellucida in aged eggs is much lower than in young ones, but increased significantly after NMN supplementation, which eventually increases egg fertilization. Number three, NMN supplementation restores mitochondrial function in aged eggs. Mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell, and data shows that NMN can improve their activity in aged eggs. First, Sirtuin-1 is a crucial regulator of mitochondrial biogenesis. Researchers found that Sirtuin-1 activity was significantly lower in aged eggs than younger ones. But by boosting NAD plus levels through NMN supplementation, scientists were able to restore Sirtuin-1 activity, thus promoting mitochondrial health in aged eggs. Another interesting finding is that ATP a crucial coenzyme produced by mitochondria was reported significantly lower in aged eggs compared to young ones. Researchers also found that NMN supplementation was able to increase ATP levels, a hallmark of mitochondrial activity. Number four, 
NMN supplementation improved IVF outcomes. The researchers finally looked at how the eggs of old mice responded to in vitro fertilization after being treated with NMN. They observed that the eggs had greater diameters after NMN treatment, which is associated with better IVF outcomes. Researchers also cultured those embryos from young and old mice in the presence of NMN. Interestingly, they observed that only embryos from aged female mice had improved maturation, not the ones from the young mice. This suggests that NMN could improve IVF outcomes in aged mice, but not in younger animals, likely because NAD plus levels have not yet declined in the young ones. With substantial therapeutic implications, these findings suggest that NMN could improve egg quality and boost fertility for natural or artificial conception. But while these findings in mouse models are promising, more research, particularly in humans, is needed before anything can be concluded. I really hope you found this video helpful. You'll find the links to the scientific studies I mentioned in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to our Salensis channel if you don't want to miss our new videos about the NAD Plus boosters and many other healthy aging tips. I'm Dan from Salensis. Have a great day and thank you for watching.